are so excited. We can feel the energy in the building as you're coming into school. Um, for our assembly, our second character assembly where we're celebrating all of you. We have many different students to recognize who have exhibited the character of uh, what was for January? Fairness! 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 So I want you to think about fairness. Is fairness always equal? Yeah. No. No, that was the biggest lesson we were hoping you could take away. It is not always equal. What is most important about fairness is that people are getting what they need in order to be successful. So what you need and what you need and what you need, what Mrs. Mathur needs and what I need can all be different. Right? Think back to how we had Mr. Holly up front when we were playing Pickle in the Middle. And then we had some people who weren't quite as tall as Mr. Holly playing. We had to think differently and play the game a little bit more fairly. And that's okay to think about things differently. So as we went through the month, your teachers and your peers were thinking about who was a role model for each classroom for fairness. Today, by grade level, just like last month, we're going to call people up to be celebrated. And there'll be a specific reason why each person has been nominated. You'll receive your award. And the cutest little nice that you have ever seen that Mrs. Tran made with our 3D maker in the media center. Can we give her a round of applause? These are what we refer to as memorabilia. So maybe if somebody is really caring, one of you recognize, but then you also demonstrate being so respectful, and you happen to be nominated again, you might have two different color nights, and that's okay. Or through the years you select that. Something for you to hang on for your lifetime. Oh, she just walked in. Can we give her another round of applause? She is aware of 
are treated fairly. She makes it a point to share materials and treats her peers with fairness on a regular basis. Thank you. 
helpful way. Well, nice round of applause for our speaker.
Did you guys hear that? So if you say you're going to do something, you actually do that thing you said you were going to say, that's being trustworthy. So can we give one clap for Noah?
one step to the right. Got to get her in the middle because she has to go between our rolling pin. Okay, you're going to take three small steps forward. Okay, now take one step to the left. Perfect. Step forward. Now you can approach the jump rope. You're going to take one tiny step forward. And then, there you go. All right. Nice. She got over it. Good job. Okay. Now, the last. Oh, for this to go away. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Why did it wait? Set it up. You have to go through a pool of water. Oh, dear. Thank you. 